I think it was in the third season. And it was this, uh, I can't remember which episode, but it might have might have even been, I'm not sure. It might have been the episode where where uh, uh, Laverne and Shirley were introduced, but I'm not 100% sure. But it was some kind of moment where Richie thought he was going to do well with a woman. And um, and uh, and so he, he uh, startled everybody by singing this, you know, kind of smoky version, rendition of Blueberry Hill. And it just stuck. People love that. That's the way most of that, most of the sort of the um, the catchphrases or uh, you know I- iconic phrases, Fonzie's A, Blueberry Hill. I had a laugh that I did. It was kind of <laughs> uh, the uh, the other characters started doing that laugh, uh, and uh, you know and and yowza 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 and sit on it and, and uh, stuff like that. They they all just were jokes that landed really really well. And somebody said, you know, we could use that. Then they started trying to invent them. That was a debacle. I, I can't quite remember, you know, but every once in a while they'd come up with one and they'd say, this is going to be the brand new catchphrase. And we'd try it and it would fall flat and it wouldn't, wouldn't take. The accidental ones are the ones that seem to endure. But Gary Marshall loved these phrases. He thought they were just, uh, you know, just, just, uh, just great. And that if we could, Say something, whoa, or something could be could people could be going whoa down the street in you know in in pop in, in you know in schools and on, on Main Street and things like that. Oh yeah, Richie had that bucko. I don't know if bucko was particularly. Uh, I might have even improvised bucko. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the ha 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 that laugh was sort of a little bit inspired by the uh, the the graduate. He. Uh, not, not literally, but Dustin Hoffman made a lot of little strange little sounds in The Graduate. <laughs> and, and uh, um, but, um, try to, yeah, you know, I mean, nerd, sit on it, I think, was, was a kind of a 50s phrase. And, uh, uh, you know, knuckle sandwich, and they were using that kind of stuff. I think all the research that we ever, ever did was we had a Life magazine look at the 50s book that sort of sat around on a table the first year that we were shooting. And, you know, we were occasionally encouraged to go scan it and look at it. That was really it. Uh, later on, I, I was always teasing the guys because I tried to keep my same Richie Cunningham haircut dutifully, uh, you know, authentic uh, all the time. But, you know, Anson was trying to have a singing career. Uh, Do- Donnie, you know, was, was single and didn't like his short haircut. Uh, and you know, after a while, everybody had 70s haircuts. And, uh, you, you know, I kept saying, whatever whatever happened <laughs> to, to, to the 50s? But I, you know, I, I guess it's a 50s fantasy anyway, so it's okay. <laughs>